Hi guys, um, not gonna lie, don't know what I'm gonna call this series, and yes, I know James May over at FoodTube has done a crisp butty video, but I swear down, I've been wanting to make crisp butty or sandwich, depending on what part of the country you come from. I've been wanting to do a series like this for a while. Now, the first episode that I had in mind was gonna be, and yeah, I'm out of breath because I've run down the stairs, plus I'm, I'm massive. So, you know, I'm an expert at crisp butties. I didn't get into an extra large without knowing my way around a crisp butty or a crisp sandwich or a crisp balm or whatever you call them in your area. And I've been wanting to do this for such a long time. Now, this idea of doing it on YouTube came from an article that I read on Manchester's Finest, which was a scientific look at what makes the ultimate crisp butty. I'm going to call it butty from now on. Apologies if that triggers anyone. But, change of plan, that's going to be the next episode. So see this is more of a pilot. Anyway, I need to stop rambling because I'm shooting in 4K at 60 frames. It's going to take absolutely ages to edit, upload, so we'll cut, cut a long story short. Walkers have released a sausage roll flavour crisp in support of the Lad Baby Charity Christmas Sausage Roll campaign. Now last night, I thought, do you know what? I fancy a packet of ready salted crisps. So I went to the crisp cupboard, just put my hand in there because I saw red. And then when I actually looked at it, I was like a child in a sweet shop because I love sausage rolls. And then I thought, right, that's it. You have to record this video. I wasn't going to do it at like two o'clock in the morning when I went for a packet of pre-sleep crisps. So I thought, on your lunch break at work, get this done get it sorted. So I'm going to make, I've not tried it before, this is the first time I'm trying it, so if it doesn't work, I'll let you know. But uh, we're going to make a sausage roll crisp butty. And this is what we're going to use for the butty itself. So of course, star of the show, and it should always be the star of the show when it comes to crisp butties, are the crisps themselves. The great thing about crisp butties is the opportunities are endless. You can use whatever crisps, whatever brand, whatever flavour. You can use, well, the only main rule that I have is it's got to be Warburton's toasty bread for you know, the quintessential crisp butty. But this series that we're going to be doing, we're going to be trying different styles of bread, wholemeal, we'll do fancy, we'll do, do cheap, we'll do budget. My voice went a little bit weird then, don't know why. So that's the bread that we're going to be using. Of course, we need butter. Now I was a little bit worried because it's uh, quite cold that this butter was going to be hard, but it does seem like it's... Uh... And yes, I've got a bit of a, a thing on my thumb there. Um, that's just what you needed to see in a food related video. So it's, it's nice and squishy. So I thought I would have to resort to using like spreadable margarine or something like that. But thankfully crisis averted. And then I don't know about you, but when I have sausage rolls, I like to dip them in something. Sometimes I might smother them in Henderson's relish. Sometimes I might even use tomato ketchup or tomato sauce, as it should be called. But I thought for this, I would have to use brown sauce. And uh, for Blue Nose Beer Reviews, you always will be Daddy's favourite. Now, we didn't have any HP, so that's potential sacrilege and controversy right there. But they're made by the same company, and they're both, like, made in Poland, so... I'm sorry, Queenie, but um, HP sauce, even though it's my preferred brown sauce, we're going to have to do 
daddy's favourite. And that is essentially all you will need. Got me a pretentious basic bitch Starbucks coffee cup there. That is all you'll need to make a crisp butty. So let's make a crisp butty. Welcome to belly cam. So um, hopefully if I continue to do these videos, I might actually shock horror invest in a, what are they called? What are they called? Tripod. Um, so I can actually get a good angle and you won't have to see Belly's going to get you uh, smothering the screen. So have I got a knife? Yes, we have. So what I'm going to do is on one slice of bread, we're going to give a, a fine layer of butter. Not too much. I don't like it when it's too buttery. I mean, as much as a pig I am, I do like butter. But I don't like it too much and it's still maybe a little bit too firm so it might affect the uh the bread itself you know when you like rip bread and stuff as you spread in butter how annoying is that by the way that's spreading okay so like I said not too much just enough I mean, I'm never going to win any awards for buttering bread. Let's put it like, let's put it pretty bluntly. But who cares, really? They might not be the most aesthetically pleasing of our foodstuffs. But um, we all know that crisp butties are perfect for when you've been out on the lash. Although you can't really do that now with lockdown unless you're doing like Zoom calls or live streams. The perfect if like now I didn't actually make any lunch the night before so it's just a quick little pick me up. Or if you're just uh, fat like me you can have crisp butties in between meals. Who's going to judge you? Probably your family but who really cares about family these days let's be honest. So, as you can see, I've not done the best of jobs, and it's done exactly what I said it would do. Affecting the integrity of the bread. So on this one, I'm going to get our brown sauce. Because like I said, brown sauce with sausage rolls is just amazing. And much like the butter... You don't want too much because you don't you don't really want to make it soggy. I mean, the crisps are going to... Well, it depends on how quickly you eat them, I suppose. See, I'm going to put this out there. I do like to sometimes make crisp butties in advance. Wrap them up in tinfoil and then let them get a little bit soft. Am I strange? Probably. Will I ever tell you where I've buried the children? No, I won't. So there we go. It's just nice and subtle. A nice smear, if you will. Now, as I said, doesn't matter what you put on with your crisp butties. The crisp has to take up most of the sandwich. So what we'll do is... Now there's no there's no art form to this. You just fill in spaces. Preferably use the, the bigger crisps at first, and then fill in the, uh, the spaces with the smaller ones. Apologies for the uh, changing camera angle there, uh, but I got a call um, as I was uh, putting the crisps on. So I'm not too sure where I'm up to, but I'm sure I can expertly edit this into a fluent take. Why is it always the case that when I'm actually free, I just get bombarded with calls? It's utterly annoying. So yeah, as I said, big crisps primarily, then fill in the small spaces with the smaller crisps because you want good coverage. I mean, some people may say you could make two crisp butties with one packet of crisps. I say pa, 
to those people. Awkward silence for no reason. And yes, I do very much talk with my hands. So there we go. I think you can uh, see it just enough. That's a generous layer of crisps. So we don't need any extra sauces on this occasion. And of course you will get leakage, both on the sandwich and in the trouser area. Now next thing, I can't believe I'm teaching people how to make a crisp butty. I do apologize. Let's press that down. The great thing about, because let's face it, as much as Warburton's toasty is perfect for crisp butties, it's not exactly quality bread, is it? It's very doughy, you can squeeze it into like tiny shapes, and that's perfect for crisps when you're making a crisp butty. Where's the bread knife? Now here's where you could deviate slightly. Now for me personally, I like to cut that way. I never get it right in the middle. But if you wanted to, you can cut diagonally. But don't be one of those people who cuts it into four. It's so unnecessary. Anyway, so that's nice and compressed. So yeah, I know you can do it like all fancy like that, but it's a crisp butty video, so what do you expect? There we are. So, crisp butties are ready. Let's give them a taste. So, it's time to eat these wonderful, well, I mean, you can't really present it nicely. I mean, look at the thumbnail for fuck's sake. But, um, and I didn't actually uh, save any, so I could give you a, a taste of the crisps before they go into the sandwich. But um, after my research last night, Think of these sausage roll crisps being like uh, roast beef, a little bit of like a hint of smoky bacon and tomato ketchup flavoured crisps. Sort of like all culminating into one. One thing that I was a bit worried about uh, with the sausage roll crisps would, was that it might just taste like a, a pre-existing flavour, which tends to happen when they do limited edition flavours. But I can actually confirm that they do almost taste like actual sausage rolls. So let's see what they taste like in the sandwich. Butter, brown sauce, sausage roll flavoured crisps. I'm doing this video now because I don't know how long these are going to be around for. So anyway, let's tuck in. It's good. Sorry, bread's stuck in my teeth. It just really works. The slight tang from the brown sauce complements the meaty, starchy flavour of the crisps. Butter in this instance, not really getting anything uh, added to the flavour, just makes it a little less dry, I suppose. I'm gonna tell you what, folks. Probably could have got away with using maybe a little bit more brown sauce. And it almost feels like I'm dipping my sausage roll, usually from Greg's, because Greg's sausage rolls are amazing. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can get beautiful sausage rolls from your nearest farm shop and stuff like that, but the fact you can get Greg's stuff from Iceland, and then when you're out and about, there's nothing better, right, than getting like one of those, is it four or six pack of the, the sausage rolls from Greg's? Oh, wonderful. And it, it's quite, reminiscent of that so 
I'm not going to say I'm a genius, that's for you to decide. But that works beautifully. Give it a go, definitely. And as I said, plagued with issues today on this video. Had to delete uh, a couple of videos that I forgot to delete because I've run out of space because I'm shooting in 4K and uh, 60 frames. Completely unnecessary, I know. But I can't remember where I was up to. Uh, yeah, basically, give this a try. I'd love to hear what your favourite crisp butties are. Doesn't matter what bread, doesn't matter what you put on it. The, the stranger, the better. Even the more subtle and just normal. Just hit me up with crisp suggestions. And it's you've got to be specific there. You've got to tell me what specific type of bread, what specific flavour and brand of crisps and specific extras. We're going to do this properly going forward. And as I said, the next episode you're going to see is a scientifically proven video because I've done the research even though it's based on one article but trust me trust me we're gonna make and I was initially apprehensive when I first made this but look out next time don't know how regularly these are going to be uploaded so I'm not gonna give you any false hope but next time we are going to make the best crisp butty and it's 100% factually and scientifically proven. So yeah, thank you for joining me and uh, hopefully you'll join me next time when uh, I make a crisp butty. See you guys later and give me ideas for what I should call this. Let me know in the comments. Ta-ta now.